the New York Knicks have officially doubled down on winning right now by giving up Boyan Bogdanovich and a haul of picks to acquire Mikhail Bridges. And while the Knicks may have given up a bunch of assets in this trade, I still think Mikhail Bridges is going to be a game changer for New York on both ends of the court. Now offensively, Mikhail overall has a pretty well-rounded game. I wouldn't say he's elite in any specific area, but he can score and create from pretty much every spot on the floor. When playing off the ball, Bridges is a really good cutter. He's got a great feel of space and reading defensive rotations. Notice on this play how the ball gets driven across the baseline, and Jonathan Kaminga briefly gets caught ball watching, allowing Bridges in the corner to cut across the middle to set up this pull-up. And that off-ball movement also plays a huge factor in Mikhail's perimeter scoring, where again, he's great at feeling where the defense is shifting, to then relocate to open spots to set up clean catch-and-shoot threes. Watch him here initially start this play all the way up towards the slot. But as his man gets pulled down towards the paint, Mikhail is going to sprint down towards the corner, giving his teammate a window to make this pass and some of his movements are very subtle as well. Notice on this play how Andrew Wiggins has to stunt down in gap in order to keep the ball from coming downhill. But watch how Bridges on the wing here is going to slide across to his left, giving himself more airspace into the shot. Bridges has given him the lead. When shooting off the catch, Bridges also has some pretty tight mechanics. Always catching with his feet set, getting the ball to a set point with no major hitches, plus that 7-1 wingspan allows him to rise up and over contest. Now statistically last year, Mikhail wasn't the most accurate 3 point shooter, but he's still a good enough shot maker that the defense has to step out and respect him. And overall, Mikhail's combination of movement, quick mechanics, and having a really high release point makes him a legit spot up shooting threat. And that by itself is going to make him a great piece to have alongside Jalen Brunson. And having another floor spacer and cutter on the floor for the Knicks is going to be huge for their offense's space and flow. Kick. Bridges, the jumper is pure. With the ball, Bridges also has some juice to create his own offense. Off the dribble, I wouldn't say he has the most dynamic handle, but he does have a unique combination of quickness and length. Last year in Brooklyn, he did some great work off these dribble handoffs, where he would pick up ahead of steam and blast towards the ball to then catch and attack into open space. And because Mikhail has the ability to stop and pop these jumpers, the defense is primarily forced to fight over these handoffs, which allows allows McKill to catch with the defense on his hip, giving him the leverage to explode into these drives. Tuesday in Miami. Off the bounce, Mikhail also has some pretty good pace. He's great at slowing down and changing his level to sell that pull-up shooting, to then drop back down and attack the basket. Watch him here step back and lift his head up selling the shot. And when he feels the defense lift just slightly out of their stance, Mikhail's going to put the ball down and bump his way into a finish. I like this move here, where Mikhail's going to play upright and relax with the ball, but then he's going to take a pound dribble and creep that right foot forward to explode past the defense with this half spin. This year, I also think Mikhail has done some good work in the mid-range. Similar to his three-point shooting, his numbers from these spots aren't great but he does have the skill and fiscal tools to pretty effectively create these shots. And this is where he puts that 7-1 wingspan to good use. By first getting the defense off balance with these physical and tight attacking angles, to then use that length to pick up and elevate over the defense. When setting up these pull-ups, Mikhail loves to attack left where again, he just plays physical to knock the defense off balance, to then rise up for a shot. You'll see him here set up this drive by going between and skipping his feet up, which allows him to pick up some momentum into this drive. And when Mikhail feels the defense's hips open up, he's going to stop on two and rise up for his pull up. And like you've seen on a bunch of these clips, Bridges has gotten much more stable with the ball, where he's now comfortable absorbing contact and keeping his base while attacking to his spots. You'll see Mikhail's initial drive to his right get walled off, but watch him absorb this contact and slam the brakes, to then re-attack to his right for this pull-up. And that improved stability also affects Mikhail's paint scoring. Watch him here turn the corner off the screen, to then pick up and lower his shoulder into this backpedaling defender. And Bridges from this spot has the control to step through and get this finish on the other side of the rim. 
This is also a nice finish here, where he's going to beat this closeout right on the catch, then right after his pickup, watch him throw up this ball fake off his first step, to then use his next step to stride across and get to this reverse layup. So overall, Bridges can effectively score from all three levels. He may not be a black belt or any kind of specialist from one spot, but I do think his combination of cutting and shooting will make him a seamless fit in the Knicks offense. Plus, he also has enough in his game to carry some weight as a creator if need be. Now, when switching over and looking at McHale's defense, this is where I think he can have his biggest impact. I feel like some people forgot that McHale was first team all defense for a season back in Phoenix. And maybe he's not getting the same recognition because he hasn't been on a relatively competitive team. But I think Bridges is still a top tier defender across the league. When defending on the ball, Mikhail's length is obviously a huge factor, where he's able to extend up and bother any shot in his airspace. You'll see DeJounte Murray here working off his screen to his left, and notice how Mikhail is going to sneak under this pick. 9 out of 10 times, this is going to be a routine pull up for Murray, but watch how Mikhail is able to extend up and get a piece of this shot. And on top of that length, Mikhail also has really good strength and mobility, where he's comfortable both sliding his feet and keeping the ball in front, while also keeping his base against physical drivers. And this blend of length, speed, and stability makes Bridges a pretty versatile perimeter defender, where he's comfortable switching up and guarding bigger wings and foes. And because he's a sturdy on-ball defender, he commonly forces his man into difficult pull-up jumpers. And like we went over, Mikhail easily has the ability to contest and turn these into really difficult looks. You'll see him here guarding Jabari Smith one-on-one. -on -one. And Mikhail's able to easily wall off his back down and force Smith into a difficult turnaround jumper towards the baseline. And that length and quickness also makes Bridges a really effective defender in gap, where he's able to extend out and get in passing lanes. And intercepted. You'll see him here on the weak side slide across the tag that roller to then reach out and take away this pass at the corner. Bridges is also a great defender in scrambles, having the ability to slide down and clog up driving lanes, to then recover back out to his man on the perimeter without giving up a clean 3 or drive. This is picture perfect health defense right here, where Mikhail 2 passes away is going to slide down towards the block, and when the ball gets skipped back to his man in the corner, he's able to close out to take away the shot, then slide and wall off this drive, forcing a difficult contested pull up. Daniels is really long. And it Mikhail's unique build also makes him a pretty effective defender in the paint, where again, he has the core strength and stability to hold his ground against post players, plus the reach to be a solid vertical presence. And what makes Bridges unique is that he has the ability to both alter shots and the foot speed on the floor to cover ground really quickly, which gives him the ability to dart around in the paint and take away any easy looks at the rim. Still time on the shot clock. So that defensive versatility is going to be huge for the Knicks. They already have a couple of elite wing defenders in OG and Anobi and Josh Hart, but Mikhail's going to be another player that they can easily plug into a variety of lineups. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you think of Mikhail Bridges' game. The kids here.